Hello and welcome to this episode of the Chainsaw Files. Today we are searching for the holy grail, the final answer, the 42 in the history of Swedish death metal. Japan or Taiwan? Enough said. Instead of repeating myself with the story of the HM2, I recommend checking out my very first Chainsaw Files video, a link's in the description. I personally own three Boss HM2 pedals. This one is made in Japan and featured in every Chainsaw Files video and most of my Chainsawish audio recordings. The other two are both Taiwanese versions. One of them is for recording, practicing and playing around. The other one I just purchased recently for live shows and rehearsals of my band Nightbearer. It has its firm place on my pedal board and will go straight back after this video. At first we compare my both homeboys with Japan on left and Taiwan on the right side. As you can see you can hardly tell a difference. The low peak on the Japanese HM2 is a bit higher though. Therefore the notch between the high peak on the Taiwanese one is lower but this could be some natural varieties and shouldn't bother you. So let's compare my live HM2 with the Japanese one. And indeed, those two curves look almost identical. The high peak notch is now in fact weaker than on the Japanese, so we can totally forget about it and deny its existence. The reason for it could be a bad timing and screenshotting the curves. To vanish everyone who's still skeptical, here are both Taiwanese curves, live on the right and studio on the left. The differences are higher than comparing any of them to the Japanese. So there is either no tonal difference between Japan and Taiwan or there are differences between every HM2 due to manufacturing tolerances. So now it's time for the oral comparison. My Japanese HM2 is on the left, my Taiwanese HM2 for live shows in the middle and my Taiwanese HM2 for recording purposes is on the right side. When recording the comparison I actually thought I'd hear a difference between the three pedals. I thought my Taiwanese studio HM2 to be a little bit dirtier than the other two, but to make sure I looped just one chord and switched between the three pedals again and again. This time I couldn't hear any difference at all and all three pedals sounded identical. So my initial thought might have been because maybe I wanted to hear a difference or maybe there is a slight difference between every HM2. But believe me if I tell you this, nobody can hear if you use a Japanese or a Taiwanese model. In theory there might be a difference, but in the studio or for life you can totally deny it. It just doesn't matter, 
nobody will ever be able to tell the difference unless they do a scientific comparison just like I did. But to be honest, my comparison has nothing to do with reality. Or science. And that's all for today. I hope I could clear things up, debilitate some myth and answer the old question. Let me know in the comments which version you preferred or if you have any questions, suggestions or whatever. You can also leave a like or subscribe to my channel for more HM2 or guitar related content. It sure helps me a lot. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.